Hey guys, welcome to another Best Isle tutorial. Um, before we start, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out adsrsounds.com because that stuff is really useful to us and also liking the videos and commenting. That stuff really helps and then we can make more videos so everybody's happy. Um, then for the sound this week, I wanted to talk a little bit about feeding stuff back into itself um, because Bezal is excellent for that kind of stuff. And to show you what I mean, I'll first play the sound that I made. And I quite like this sound, it's, it's nice distorted, it sounds a little bit old and rusty. Also because of the spring reverb on there in the effects section. Um, but what I did for this sound is I um, modulated a lot of stuff, well not a lot, but some stuff with other oscillators. So for example if you look here at oscillator 2, you can see that the output is modulating the pitch of oscillator 1. So if we just listen to that by itself, let's see. Um, so I'll try to explain the signal flow. We have oscillator 1 here and it's going out to this um, mixer, sort of advanced mixer. This mixer is then going out to this first filter with this nice red cable. And then the um, low pass filter, because here, here we can uh, choose different filter types. The low pass filter is going to filter 2 and then so after filter 1 that one goes to filter 2 and then out to this uh, second output and we have an other low pass filter and that's modulating um, this filter by itself so that, that low pass filter is going out and then into the modulation of the filter but I'll disable all that for now I'll just make it a little bit simpler I'll delete this cable so now we have just oscillator 1 going to the mixer, going to filter 1 and then filter 1 is going through the output here and this uh, old and rusty sound is because this second oscillator we're not hearing that but the sound of this oscillator is modulating the pitch of uh, oscillator 1 so if I disable that It sounds just like that and I have a slow attack on the envelope here otherwise it would sound like this so now I can raise this modulation amount and then oscillator 2 starts to uh, modulate the pitch and that is uh, in other words known as FM where I use this oscillator as the uh, modulator and oscillator 1 as the carrier so oscillator 2 is modulating the pitch of oscillator 1 and I can set that to 2 octaves we can see the values uh, in the screen right here and we can also see what it does with the wave in the oscilloscope because this is normal and now you can see that it gets a little bit distorted so we can use that and we can use that on um, a lot of different things not only with the oscillators but what I could also do um, is now I could use this low pass uh, 6dB filter and send it through this modulation amount so now the oscillators are controlling the amount of cutoff modulation because this one is controlling the cutoff. And you get some real cool and rusty sounds that way. So now we've set that up that is the first two oscillators and then we can use oscillator 3 and we send it to let's see 
let's send it to this second mixer no let's use the yeah the second <laughs> sorry I'm gonna use this one and then this is going to filter 2 and then filter 2 is going to output 2 so now this is a pretty basic setup so it's just um, more or less a sign but now we can use oscillator 4 to modulate something in here let's say let's modulate the phase distortion and give it some amount or let's try to fractalize and if you want to be more subtle we can set these semitones to overtones or undertones or hertz so let's try overtones I quite like that and then I'm gonna use the bandpass filter to modulate the cutoff amount of this filter Now let's try the high pass. And then with the oscillator one. tune this one a little bit better And now what we can do to make it a little bit nicer is um, first off we can apply um, the sequencer to the cutoff. And then we can use a little bit of delay. We can adjust the timing here with these upper uh, three knobs. So the timing on the left side, the timing in the center, and the timing on the right side. And you can raise the center or the side volume separately. So I really like that trick. Um, in other words, where you where you feedback stuff with itself or with its own oscillators, you can even use an output here on the oscillator itself and use it to control the uh, pitch. Anything anything is possible, and that's that's what I like about this synthesizer. And this way, you'll get some real cool and gritty sounds. So um, play around with that, and see you next week.